that's that's very cool. I want to talk a little bit about uh, the National Wrestling Alliance because mm-hmm. I know you started working with them, and that was some of the early time when I really started watching your work. And I, how did you get in touch with the NWA? Who was your in for it? How did that work out? Um, I want to say Mickey James was the catalyst for that. Um. Man, I get kicked in the head a lot. So my memory is... <laughs> <laughs> I believe I had done something with Impact. And that's where she had seen me. Um, and then she was doing the NWA Empower pay-per-view. I think. Don't quote me on that. But <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe... No. No, 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 no. That wasn't it. So it was Pat Kenny. He did just like contact me out of nowhere. And I think... I don't know if someone was injured or I was on his list. I remember he said he had a whiteboard and I was on the short list and I was like, all right, cool. But then he, you know, that was it. Like I showed up for, for extra work, I think, um, before the NWA empower pay-per-view. Yeah. So I just, I got a call from one of the, the talent agents. What were your experiences like in the NWA? Did you enjoy your time there while you were there? I did. I really enjoyed the NWA actually. Um, I think they treated their talent well. Um, I had, I have nothing but good things actually to say um, about my time there. And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't long, but Jazz was incredible. Alondra Blaze, Medusa was there. Um, You know, they had really great agents. And, um, you know, I think it was the first time I had ever seen a full television style product come together from top to bottom with, you know, this is what we're going to do today. This is what I want. This is, you know, it was very detailed. And, and I love that. I love direction. I want a vision. I love seeing someone else's vision and how I can help create that um, and, and be an asset to that product. So um, in that sense, I felt like I really, I did have a place there. Um, But yeah, like I, I enjoyed it very much. And there was a great group of talent around you where, you know, people, I have a list of some of the people you had matches with there. Kylie Ray. We know yep. that she, for all we know, she might be WWE bound. I'm not sure the situation there, but she just was on main event, which is awesome. Uh, Sky Blue is in AEW now. Kenzie Page, who has really evolved and upped her game in the NWA. Uh, Allison Kay, and she's a you know she's a veteran at this point. Yep. What did you have any standout matches in particular that you know you like the most from your time there? Or you remember the most? Um. I know you're on the spot. <laughs> no. I I think I enjoyed my match with Kenzie, actually. I really, it was like one of my first two. I had one with Genocide, one with Kenzie, and I think they were still feeling me out, right? Like, I wasn't getting a lot. Um, it was just like, let's see what this girl does. It was a closed set at the time. You know, you have like 30, 40 people in the audience. Um and, and like anywhere, you have to prove yourself. So I wasn't really given a whole, whole lot. Uh, I think they were trying to to get a gauge on like, was I baby? Was I heel? Uh, how did I interact? Like those kind of things. But Kenzie was a great worker. I think, um, you know, given some time and some some build up, we would have had a great, great little something going on there. Um, Kylie was fantastic. I'd worked her a few times. I wish we got into something. Serena Deeb was still, she was like just on the way out. I was really hoping um, we are going to mix it up. But yeah, they had a lot of talent right then um, at the time. So I think a lot of potential matches could have been put pretty great. And now, you know, with more time under my belt, TV experience that, I think I would have had a, a more clear direction. But I was just establishing myself, right? I was only a couple years in. And, um, you know, I was also figuring out who I was. Yeah. And who knows? Never say never. You could always end up back there in the future, you know, you're even though you're quite busy these days. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit 